Jack of O'Shea, Mossop, Cloven, Marsh and Carney and Captain Davies were in command. Australia won 25-8. A shining light for the tourists was 5-8th Dave Bolton. The Great Britain camp was in a deadly serious mood in the build-up to the second test in Brisbane. With Karelius back, England was primed and ready. In the first five minutes, skipper Prescott went in hard to tackle Kel O'Shea and came out clutching a broken right arm. Twelve minutes later, Dave Bolton departed with a broken collarbone, but Britain refused to wilt. The Ashes Cup was up for grabs a fortnight later at the SCG. The injured Davey Bolton could only watch and cheer from the grandstand. Prescott's 58 Lions had outclassed their opposition to win the Ashes for the first time in 12 years on Australian soil. A bit forward. Long pass to Bolton and a good pass too. Bolton. Bolton, the boy who's by the face, him by shilling every time he scores a try. Go back to him. Whiteley. Long pass to Bolton. Long pass to Bolton. Nicely beaten. Four, four defenders ducking and dodging. Dave Bolton of Wigan. Let him play the ball. Sullivan. Stevenson. Bolton. 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 Standing in the clear looking for, for support. He's going to dash them. It's good. Three are short for. Great Britain, but the Australian tackling is really something. Bolton, Ashton, Ashton. Brilliant sunshine, more than 70,000 wildly excited spectators packed historic Sydney cricket ground to its capacity. I think in, uh, in the 62 we had a, a distinct advantage over the, uh, the Australians then because uh, the majority of the English side had uh, two at Australia in 1958. The nucleus of that 58 side came out again in 62. Uh, with the Australians they had a, how can you put it, uh, it was a different era in football whereas uh, in 58, they had won uh, a lot of players, and then they changed the whole uh, ball game in the uh, 62 series. And I think this was where England had the advantage, where we had uh, so many players that had played together for four years. Australia's 11th hour defence, however, only postponed the inevitable. A long pass by McTeague to Herbert, to Bolton, sees the two British centres, Fox 9 and Ashton 1, handle before Sullivan crosses wide out for his second and Great Britain's third try. Beatty's pass to Gaznia is charged down by Bolton. Cleary cannot take the ball when it rolls near him. Now it's Bolton who streaks away. This time it's Bolton who is away. Sullivan is dropped by Raper a few yards from Australia's line. Bolton, Edgar, McTeague and Turner storm Australia's line. Here is the Wigan combination again, as McTeague, tackled by Muir, gets the ball out to Ashton, who races past Gaznia and scores again behind the post, his second try. It's been a great day for Ashton, leading Great Britain in a test in Australia for the first time. Fox's goal makes it 26 to 12. His conversion of a late closing try by Boston made the final tally Great Britain 31, Australia 12. Bolton, the boy who's mother pays him five shilling every time he scores a try.